Hi guys, welcome to episode 6 of Geography Explained Online. Today we're going to be looking at how to calculate time, distance and speed on maps. This is one of the, I won't say hard, but I'll say least easy skills that we do in Senior Geo. Um, and it's tricky because there's a couple of things involved. You have to take into account scale. You have to do some measuring of your broadsheet. And there's actually a couple of different ways you can do it. You can be given time and distance and be asked to calculate speed or speed and time and asked to calculate distance. So it's a little bit tricky, but really no problem once you know how to do it. Just a few easy steps, which we're gonna take you through now. So here at the whiteboard, and we're going to show you a simple little trick to work out all of our equations because time, distance, speed is really just three different equations you need to know. So we draw this triangle here, and you need simply need to remember daylight saving time. So what you need to do once you draw your triangle, you need to draw in D, daylight saving time, making sure that the D is on top. So basically, guys, in the HSA or pretty much any other question, you're going to be given two of these three, and using the triangle, you can figure out what the other one is. So for example, if we were given the distance that someone travelled and the speed someone travelled, we would need to block out time because that's what we're trying to find. And we're left with this equation where time is equal to distance over speed. Um, obviously it works the exact same way. If you need to work out speed, you just go distance over time, easy enough. But the beauty of the triangle is if you need to work out distance and you're given speed and time, rather than a one over the other, it becomes simply a times question. So if you want to work out how far you travelled, the distance, it's just speed times time rather than divided by. Okay, we've got a HSC question we're going to go through now and show you, and then Sissio is going to get his joggers on and we're going to do some practical examples as well. Okay, so here we've got our question from our 2011 HSC. Um, broadsheet. It's a pretty simple time distance question where it's going to give you the distance and also going to give you the speed uh, and it's going to ask us to calculate the time. So how do we do that? Uh, the two points that it gives us in the question are basically this intersection to that intersection. So we chuck our ruler on each and we find that the distance between the two is 16.2 centimeters. Now um, 16.2 centimeters, we need to now use the scale to figure out how far that it actually is. Our scale, as you can see on the bottom, is one centimeter equals 150 meters. Another way of saying that is 0 .0, 0 0.15 kilometer for every centimeter. So, if we just times 16.2 by 0 0.15, we get an answer of 2.43, so that's in kilometers. Okay, so that's our distance, pretty simple. Now, what is our formula for working out time? Well, we look at our triangle and we cover up time because that's the one we need. So we've got distance over speed. So we've got distance and the speed that the in the question that the person is walking is four kph. So our equation now is 2.4 kilometers, 2.43 kilometers over four kilometers per hour. So how do we, what do we do from here? Um, we basically put that in the calculator, 2.43 over 4, and you'll get an answer of 0 0.6. So what this is actually telling us is to walk 2.43 kilometres at 4 kilometres an hour will take 0 0.6 of an hour. Very important here because time isn't in a decimal, it's out of 60, so 0 0.6 hours, we're going to change that to minutes and seconds. To do that, we just times 0 0.6 by 60, and we get an answer of... 36.45. So this has now given us the minutes, 36 minutes, but it's also saying 0.45 of a minute. This is a very common place to make an error. Some people will think this means 36 minutes, 45 seconds, but it doesn't. It's a decimal, right? 0.45 of a minute. So we need to work out what 0.45 of a minute is. So again, we just times this 0.45 by 60, and we come up with 36 minutes, because that's already there, and 0.45 of a minute equals 27 seconds. There we go. So our answer is to walk from this point in New York to this point in New York at four, at four kilometers an hour will take us exactly 36 minutes and 27 seconds. Okay guys, we're gonna give you a practical example now. We've set up Mr. Sizio to go for a bit of a jog. He's gonna do a couple laps around the school. We've measured it out to 6.7 kilometers. And we're gonna see how quickly you can get it done. Any marks? Set? Go!
How long was that? About 32 minutes. Hi, uh, Cizio is back in one piece, managed not to dislocate anything, and he ran 6.7 kilometers in 32 minutes, which is pretty fast time, pretty speedy, especially when you stop for our Zach special. I'm very fit. So, what we've got here, we've got time, we've got distance, we need speed. So, we block out our speed, and we're left with this equation where speed equals distance over time. So, all we do, we use the triangle again, really easy. We've got our equation of distance over time. So our distance is 6.7 k's. Our time is 32 minutes. It seems simple, but there's a little trick here. If we were to put 32, which is a common error, down the bottom here, the equation essentially works out as a decimal. 32 minutes isn't a decimal, right? So we need to actually change it back to what a decimal would be. What is 32 minutes as a decimal of an hour? So we put 32 divided by 60 to work that out. And of course, 32 divided by 60 equals 0 0.53, which means again, 32 minutes is 0 0.53 of an hour. Okay, so we put that into our calculator, 6.7 over 0 0.53, and we work out that Mr. Cizio was running at a pretty quick speed of 12.6 kilometers an hour. Thanks guys for watching episode 6 of Geography Explained Online. So next week we've got another skill which is a, essentially a senior skill but it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy which is ternary graphs. So look forward to that. And we'll see you next week. Make sure you like and subscribe. Also please check yeah, us out yeah. on Instagram at geography underscore explained underscore online. Check out all the social medias below and please follow Ryan Hemsworth on Facebook who does all of our music. Another big shout out to him. Get it on his Facebook page. Thanks guys. See you next week. running at a pretty quick speed of 12.6 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> that's it, that's the end. That's nothing more. This Matt. is it. this is why you should work out your equations before you start the video. Quick math. Um, what's the If you had an iPhone, he'd be done by now. Joker explain.